Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. So in today's video, we're going to discuss raw food newbie mistakes. Not enough carbohydrate calories. And we all know, when you don't get enough carbohydrate calories, everything flops down. Your sex drives flops down, your mood flops down, your performance flops down, your mental clarity flops down, your, your willpower to eat healthy flops down when you don't get enough carbohydrate calories from fruit. If you're into raw food, you need to eat enough sweet fruit, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna fuck up big time. You're gonna be flailing, floundering, AWOL, hating the raw food lifestyle if you don't eat enough calories and sweet fruit. And people might debate that and say, you don't need to eat sweet fruit. Sweet fruit's bad for you. And these people are always cracked out on Krakow, macking up on Macca, you know, going to Ben and Jerry's or whatever, running on stimulants. I know a famous raw food practitioner who gave a patient a shot of bovine adrenaline and they died. Now, I won't mention any names, but that's what's going on in the raw food world. People are getting administered bovine adrenaline at the same time they're being told, stay away from fruit. Now, I think that's a load of bull, pun intended. So we've got a little case study here, lovely lady Natasha. So nothing personal against Natasha, I think she's a lovely person. Using her example, because she's like the classic example, the person is interested in health and wanting to do the raw food thing, but not eating enough to sustain it. And everyone knows that Natasha is sort of a against the raw food lifestyle and against the vegan lifestyle. And hey, and I would be too if I was eating what Natasha was eating. If I was eating that little, if I was eating that little calories, man, I'd be, I'd be against it as well. I'd be hating life. So this is just merely pointing out someone's mistake. It's like, you know, your shoelace is undone. That's why you fell over. It wasn't because you didn't have any discipline or the, or the path was dangerous, or whatever. It's just your shoelaces were undone. It tripped you up. Simple. So if you look at Natasha's food intake, we have four bananas, half a cantaloupe, a huge cabbage salad with one head of cabbage, apple cider vinegar, tahini, lemon, garlic, two handfuls of cashew and some honey. So I estimated that roughly around 1,200 calories with approximately 30% of calories coming from fat. So we're eating too much fat calories and we're not getting enough carbohydrate calories and we're not getting enough overall calories. So we've got the, the triple hitter there, too much fat, not enough calories overall, and not enough carbohydrate calories. And then Natasha rode two and a half hours on the bike that day, which is a lot. That's a lot of exercise. Two and a half hours. That's what the average professional cyclist would do in an average day in, in during the season. So that's a lot of exercise for very little food. And no wonder we saw Natasha not really enjoy the lifestyle because that's too much activity and not enough food. Calories from fruit. Otherwise, it's going to be... It's, Blinky, can you just, I'm trying to do a video, man. Can you just back out? Okay, thanks, mate. So you need to get enough calories and sweet fruit. Otherwise, you're going to be flailing. You're going to be off the vegan wagon. You're going to be off the raw food wagon in no time. Your performance is going to drop. Everything's going to drop down. You're going to manifest psychological issues, whatever. Plenty of examples of that in the raw food community. Cacao dependence. I mean, the amount of raw food is addicted to out raw chocolate. Just using that for like a speed hit is... Raw chocolate is basically like speed. It's just, it's a drug. It's theobromine. It's the sister element of caffeine. It's a drug. It's like low-level speed, low-level cocaine, low-level crack, cocaine, methamphetamine. That's the raw chocolate, raw cacao, cracao as we call it, raw hippie crack. And it's really dangerous. And when you don't eat enough carbohydrates, you're going to want to have the stimulants. Instead of having coffee, you have your raw chocolate because you think it's healthy because it's the best food ever. But I'll tell you what, it's not. It's a noxious, toxic plant food which should be eliminated from your diet if you're into health. If you're into health, get rid of the chocolate, please. So my sincere advice for anybody who's interested in the raw food lifestyle, succeeding with weight loss transformations, with high energy, with good digestion, flat stomach, my suggestion is get enough calories from your favorite sweet fruits, be it mangoes, bananas, dates, jackfruit, whatever high calorie fruit you can get sufficient amounts of year round, that's what you want to have. You want to have your mono meal of fruits. What does a mono meal mean? A mono meal means one fruit at a time when you want to eat until you're full. And that's, it's done. Just have as many bananas as you want, as many dates as you want, as many grapes or mangoes as you want, and have that until you just, boom, done. Done. So that's real easy. A good, another way to measure is get minimum, minimum 
10 grams of carbohydrates per kilo of body weight per day. Minimum of 10 grams of carbohydrate per kilo of body weight per day. Now, if you're using the pound system, that's 5 grams of carbohydrates per pound of body weight per day. Now, if you use that as your minimum guideline, post your comments down below what you experience. You're going to have so much more energy. You can do whatever you want. You can be a better parent. You can be a better athlete. You can build a more toned, tight, slim, lean body because you can train consistently and you're going to recover so well because you're getting enough carbohydrates you know, and you no longer crave or need the stimulant so you can become drug-free and get off the raw crack owl, the hippie crack. You can get off your coffee, you can get off your speed or whatever you're using. So get enough carbohydrate calories or expect to have an epic failure on the raw food lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Share this video on Facebook, Twitter with some raw food friends who are interested in the raw food lifestyle, but maybe they're not eating enough. Maybe they're starving and having depression or low energy or glucose exhaustion. Share this video around, post your comments and questions down below, and we'll see you on the road. Okay, see you later. Thank you.